Hello everyone, I'm Julie and in today's video we are talking about decorating with green. Green is absolutely one of my favorite colors to design and decorate with because there are so many endless options to choose from depending on the mood I'm in. If I wanted a space to feel light, bright, and airy, a spectrum of sage is what I would be aiming for. If I wanted the space to feel dark and moody, like a scene out of a Pacific Northwest forest, I might sum it up shades of evergreen or hunter. The goal of today's video is to show you how to expertly fill your home with your favorite green hues, how to execute your design so it looks thoughtful and unique to you, and finally share my favorite green paint color so you can get the look and be one step closer to creating the home of your dreams. We'll be dividing this video up into three different segments. First, I want to share inspiration from all across the globe and all of my favorite different designers. I want to show you how they use green in the home from bedrooms to bathrooms, kitchens, dining rooms, and all of those cozy nooks and crannies in between. Next, we'll be talking about the psychology of color so you understand the implications of bringing different green hues into your home. Depending on the different shades, they can affect your mood, your productivity, and the overall flow of your home. At the end of the video, I'll be sharing my favorite green paint colors from light greens to medium greens, dark greens, and of course, those super trendy gray green paints that everyone wants on their walls these days. So if you're finally ready to bring green into your home, this video is for you. I have a huge affinity for the color green. Not only is it the color of my quad number, which is number four, it's also the color of my home. I just repainted my primary bedroom in this really beautiful kind of sage-like mossy green. It's called Lichen from Pharaoh and Ball and I really obsessed over this color for I want to say almost six months. Even though green is considered a super trendy color, it goes in and out of popularity. I don't really care that it's on trend or if it's not trendy and I don't think you should either. Take the time to find the perfect green shade that feels timeless, it feels classy, but most importantly it feels personal to you. Now let's get inspired by all of these beautiful designs out there. One of my favorite ways to bring green into the home, especially when you're looking to relax and unwind, is to implement it in the bedroom. Think of enveloping all of your walls in a really deep dark green. Imagine a cavernous space that induces the most restful slumber. Or on the flip side, if you're looking to be energized and rejuvenated by your space, how about trying a really calming sage green on the walls? Think about painting all four walls that same green color and trying a contrast on the ceiling. Remember that the ceiling is the fifth wall in design, so neglecting it is almost like you're removing an entire wall from a room, which is like a designer no-no. If you have lighter walls, you could go for a darker ceiling. If you have darker walls, you could go for a lighter ceiling. Think about choosing a swatch that's a couple of shades lighter on the same paint deck so the entire room feels composed and really intentional. I love how this bedroom is super small but it just feels so open and airy. All the walls are painted in green. They even have window treatments that are the same green color. Looking out to this beautiful view of this like gorgeous tree so you're almost like just enveloped in nature. If you're trying green in the bedroom as an accent wall, always consider all of the elements that are going in that space as well. There needs to be some sort of dialogue between that single focal wall that's just a wash in a green color. Maybe you want to add an area rug in the same complementary hues as that green wall. Maybe you want to echo the same colors of your bedding on the walls as well. How about wall-to-wall -wall custom cabinetry a wash in this beautiful green hue? I love a dark and moody space myself when all four walls are enveloped in like a really beautiful green hue that you love, you instantly feel energized. I actually love the way green looks with wood paneling. Just think about it. It's almost like stepping into nature, right? You see all these really beautiful tree trunks. They're all brown and all of this beautiful lush foliage that's kind of surrounding all of that deep dark wood. This is the total vibe I get from this bedroom. Even though wood paneling seems like very 70s, 80s, when it's done really well, there's such a richness to the bedroom that you can't mimic with any other material. If you really wanna go bold and make a statement, try wallpaper. The entire wallpaper doesn't have to be green. I've seen really beautiful green grass cloth, but I've also seen really amazing murals, either in a scenic landscape mural, or even like a wild jungle, especially if you're going for like a certain theme. It doesn't have to be like a child's room or a themed room or even like an animal safari jungle room. Think of wallpaper or any print or pattern that kind of echoes the vibe that you're going for without getting so literal. 
Moving on to bathrooms, there was a moment in history when green tile was all the rage. I have been house hunting for quite a few years now, and you remember when those tiled bathrooms were like everywhere. They've got the green tile on the countertops, you know, the ones with those like really huge grout lines are just like awful to clean. And of course, they lined the entire shower stall with that as well. Well, green hasn't gone anywhere in design. Now the ceramic tile of yore is reimagined in so many beautiful applications. Applications. We've got Zalige tiles that are super on trend. There are these handmade Moroccan tiles that have this really beautiful glazed finish in the front. All of the tile is hand cut and almost has like a raw edge. So it's a perfectly imperfect type of vibe, which I absolutely love. There's this beautiful sheen and glimmer to the front. So the minute that you put this in a bathroom, oh my gosh, the bathroom is going to feel like this gorgeous jewel box. I've also seen really bright, beautiful green cabinetry used in the bathroom. I think the bathroom is one of those spaces in a home where you go really wild. Since it's contained to a smaller square footage, the smaller the space, the bigger you can go with your design. If you still love that type of dark and moody space, don't be afraid to use dark colors in the bathroom as well. This is probably one of those loopholes to the fifth wall in design, which is the ceiling. In the bathroom, if you have like white trim or white floors, or maybe even like a white sink or white tub or white shower enclosure, I think it's okay to paint the bathroom ceiling white because you're kind of echoing that design sentiment. It's not okay to just leave it white when there's nothing else in the bathroom that's white, but I think this is one of those exceptions that I would make in design just because the bathroom is where you want the space to feel like brighter, cleaner, airier. So if you don't want to paint the ceiling in the same dark color that you've painted all four walls, then that light contrast is not only welcomed, but it's probably even preferred if this is my own personal design. Moving on to decorating with green ideas in the kitchen. In the kitchen is where everyone wanted green cabinets for a minute and I have seen uh, so many different shades of green cabinets and I'm here to dissect them all we've got those really beautiful light green shades from mints to sage I see kitchen cabinets awash in this color and I'm like drooling I literally want it in my own home I love the way minty greens look with bleached oak floors I love the way sage looks against rich walnut how about a darker olive hue when you have a lot of reclaimed wood in the home if you're going for something richer, like an emerald green, you can try emerald green glazed tile. Look for the type of tile with a lot of natural variation in it. Especially set on an entire expanse like a backsplash, you're covering a whole lot of square footage. So anything that you're looking at has to be a color that you absolutely are obsessed with. I love glazed tile because they have a lot of that variation and dimension. Especially when the light hits it or you're kind of in your kitchen at different times of the day, the greens can take on so many different tints and tones as opposed to like a matte tile. If you have like a matte ceramic or even like a clay tile, which could be really cool, I love how you can create a statement with that backsplash and leave the rest of the kitchen cabinets like really muted and neutral. I have seen some kitchens with some really bright, bold shades of green, especially on a cabinet, which I know could be like repainted down the line. But tell me what you think about some of these spaces. Are these greens that you would try in your own home? Do these greens give you life? Or are they looking a little garish? Green has been such a hot color to design and decorate with for decades now. And now that we're diving into decorating with green in the living room, there are just so many cool applications. If you're currently living in a predominantly neutral space and you wanna jazz it up with some color on the walls, try these different shades of green. I especially love greens layered with rich woods, or even if you have some like red, orange, clay elements in there, I think those are some really unique complementary combinations where the colors just kind of vibe off each other in a space. Don't be afraid to layer greens on with more color. Some light, some dark, some bold. Greens can look really beautiful in a classic and traditional space, and it can look equally well in a very contemporary one. I love how this William Morris Arts and Craft wallpaper is set against this almost like European designed living room. You have contemporary clean line furnishings in here, and then all of a sudden you have this green wallpaper on the walls. I'm a maximalist. You guys know that even though my space and film studio is predominantly minimalist. But if you look at the rest of my home, I love print on print. So the minute I see like an arts and craft movement mixed in with like old European antiques, like I love it. Heidi Kaye is one of my favorite Pacific Northwest interior designers. I've shared her work on this channel before and I wanted to show you this living room. This space is almost like a masterclass in decorating with green in design. You've got green on the walls, you have green prints on your upholstered sofa. She even brings in complimentary 
complementary green wallpaper with these tiny little like leaf motifs that is carried from one room to the next. One of the things I love best about this home is how there's a visual dialogue that's carried from one space to the next to the next. Even if you don't live in an open concept plan design, some of these rooms don't even have doors that separate the rooms from each other. You might just have an opening. So a really quick and easy way to make the space feel more cohesive is to have an underlying color. Here it's green. Different shades of green that's carried from room to room to room. It's thoughtful, it's nuanced, and most importantly, it feels so unique to the owner. If green on all four walls in the living room is not your thing, that just feels like a little bit too much, how about relegating the green to a really beautiful window treatment? The great thing about adding green in draperies or curtains is that it just fills up one wall in your space. You could use this wall to layer on neutral sheer panels and saturated green curtains. You could also try pattern textiles in your favorite green hues. You can also bring green into the living room with upholstered sofas and seating. Think about upholstering your sofa in the exact same fabric that you're lining on your windows. I love a vintage inspired sofa that's upholstered in like a really rich, yummy velvet. Velvet is probably one of my favorite seating fabrics because it's just so soft, comfortable, and cushy. These two living rooms have predominantly light walls. One feels very coastal, the other one feels really traditional. You've got light minty upholstery on one side and on the other, you have this like deep, dark hunter color. Now between these two sofas, which one are you more likely to bring into your home? If all of your furniture is in, the walls are paint it the color you want to, but you still want to add that green and make a really huge statement, what about a green area rug? Green area rugs are on the rise right now. They feel really grounding in a neutral space and they can instantly make any home look richer. I would stay away from the area rugs that have a little bit too much contrast or a little bit too graphic. That's not something that I would really hang on to, especially as my design styles change or my aesthetic changes. I almost want to look for a rug that's going to grow with me down the line. There are so many different types of statement furniture that you can bring inside the home, inside the living room, that's going to give you that green that you crave. Let's talk about the psychology of green when it comes to interior design and home decor. Green is most commonly associated with nature, health, growth, and prosperity. The emotions attached are earthy, moody, peaceful, and calm. Green is all about balance, renewal, healing, restorative properties, which is why you often see green used in spas or salons. When you think of green, what do you see? I see nature in all of its glory, like fresh cut grass in springtime. Green represents hope and growth, so much so that green is not only accepted as an adjective and a noun in the English language, it's also now a verb. I think everyone knows what it means now to go green. Going green means implementing certain lifestyle changes that make you a little bit more eco-friendly and eco-conscious. It means becoming more environmentally aware and changing your behavior and lifestyle to reduce the amount of pollution and waste that you generate. Really, we're just talking about reducing the amount of stuff that you throw away. Going green is all about getting back to nature, going back to your roots, and eating all of the wonderful food that the earth and nature provides. There are so many positive associations that come with the psychology of green. Bright green can feel really fresh and natural, which is why fresh food brands or anything wanted to be seen as natural or organic use bright green in their logos and packaging. There are also a lot of positive associations with using dark green colors colors in the home. Dark green can feel really rich and grounding, moody and deep. There's a certain introspective nature to using dark green in the home that I absolutely love. There are some bright green shades that have negative associations and implications with the psychology of using that green. We're talking about negative feelings that are associated with envy, jealousy, greed. Think of all the popular green characters that you know and love, like the Incredible Hulk or the Green Goblin or even the Joker. And then think about the green colors that are associated with these characters. Of course, these are fictional characters that you read in books or see in the movies, but the visual impact of how green resonates in our psyche is very real. So you always wanna think about how a particular shade of green can make you feel in your home. One of the first questions that I always ask my clients when I'm embarking on a brand new interior design project is how do you want to feel in your space? I never ask them what their favorite colors are because a lot of the times, most people like a lot of different colors. I never really ask them for like a palette that they have in mind, but I always wanna make really concerted efforts as a design professional to design a space that they want to be completely enveloped in. Let's go through some of my favorite green paint colors, starting with light greens. Use light green colors when you want to invoke a feeling of fresh and calm. 
like going on your favorite morning hike, or quietly relaxing after a long day of work. Light green colors can feel fresh and natural, rejuvenating and restorative. Moving on to medium green. Medium green colors are rich and earthy, grounding and supportive. Use medium green shades when you want to feel completely enveloped by your space and energized by all of these perfect greens that are found in nature. Here are a collection of my favorite dark green paint colors. These are rich deep green colors. I love these paired with classic white trim and wainscoting or even natural wood stains. If you have lighter woods in the home, dark greens pair perfectly for a high contrast space that doesn't feel too cavernous or depressing. Gray green paint colors are trending in design because they're so livable and can complement well with neutral furnishings if you already have them in your home. These are designers and decorators go-to colors for a chic and sophisticated space. Just a word of caution when you're sampling paints. Of course, I pulled all of these images online. They are filtered images, so never trust that the color that is associated with this image is the exact same color match or that is going to look exactly the same in your home. There are so many variations in your home that could alter the way a paint color looks. Depending on the direction of your home, how much natural daylight filters through, the amount of lighting that you have in your space, the color of the bulbs, where they're located, the type of finishes and furniture that you already have in your home. I mean, all of these could vary the appearance of the paint color in your home. So I cannot stress enough that you absolutely have to sample, sample, sample. It's so important for you to sample exact paint colors in your home so you know what you're going to get. There are different ways for you to sample paint colors. You could go to your local paint vendor or your hardware store and purchase a sample pot. These sample pots usually only cost like $5. You still need to get an applicator if it's a brush or a little foam brush and paint like like two by two samples right on your wall. I actually like to paint larger samples like two feet by two feet so you get a larger, more accurate depiction of what that paint is gonna look in your space. You wanna paint that sample on every single wall in the room because depending on where the light source is coming from, that paint color is going to look different on every single wall. Yes, the same paint color, yes, in the very same room. If you have an inspiration image that you love or a photo that you took of a space that you love, this green paint color, you can also also upload the color directly onto your paint manufacturer's website to get an exact color match. And when I say exact, I mean, it's gonna be kind of close. So of course you still have to sample that paint color once they send you a swatch. The third way to sample paint colors in your home, this is probably the cheapest, easiest, quickest, no hassle, no fuss way, is with peel and stick samples. Samplies is one of my favorite ways to do this. I discovered Samplies like years ago and I've been using them ever since. Samplies provides peel and stick paint samples with real applications of two coats of paint on like a legal size paper. There's no mess, no dry time, there's easy removal. You can peel and stick them on any single surface. Each individual sample costs less than $6. They can ship you these samples overnight. The only downside to using samplies is that the samples are smaller than I like. Like I said, they're kind of like on a legal size sheet of paper. And then I like to paint like two by two squares on the wall. So if you're looking for like a larger sample, you have to purchase multiple sheets of these samplies papered. But the great thing about it is that it's real paint. It's not just a synthetic color match of whatever your paint sample is. You can actually see the real paint color on this sample that you can reuse again and again and again. I'm such a fan of samplies. I have been using them for years. I do have a discount code that I will be leaving for you in the description box just in case you wanna check them out. 
Ooh, that was a lot of information, but I hope you got some really great inspiration for decorating with green, how to use green accents to brighten up your home. If you like this type of content and you want me to add more colors to our decorating with color series, please give this video a like and a thumbs up. Also, if you love this video, definitely check out the best paint colors to pair with wood trim. I'm going to link it here for you. I know a lot of you are struggling with your honey oak kitchen or your mahogany floors or even your cherry wood furniture. And my team and I have packed over 100 different paint colors for you to choose from to pair with your existing wood finishes. So you definitely want to check that out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.